Hello friends, it's Judy Clock here in Middletown, Virginia, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator, coming to you today for another um, free live tutorial. And uh, this is kind of our transition month where we are the retiring lists are out. We know what products are leaving us. Uh, my hair, look at this hair. It's been windy out today. I'm a mess. So we know what products are leaving us. And if you're a demo, you kind of know you've gotten your copy of the catalog. You know what's coming out. So it's kind of a weird time to really be doing live demos. But so I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to combine one of my retiring favorites with some of our new product. So a little bit of a tease of what's leaving us and what's coming. So tonight we're going to work with one of my favorites. This has been a favorite of mine for several years. It's called Artistically Inked. It's got some really pretty floral designs. It has that watercolor look to it. Some really all-purpose sentiments. Hello, thanks, happy birthday, best wishes. So just a really all-around great set for creating cards. So tonight we're going to go ahead and we're going to make our two cards. We're going to do a Simply Stamping card. And we're just going to use that gorgeous set with those beautiful flowers and all of our new in colors. So we've got Petunia Pop, um, Pretty in Pink, Shy Shamrock, our um, Peach Pie. I think the only one I didn't use on this was Summer Splash, but we used Summer Splash on our second card, which is a little bit more stepped up. And this also features the new in color glimmer paper. How pretty is that? So that's just that summer splash. We've stamped it off once, so it's not quite full strength. And then we've just made a little hello card. And I've kind of used the die cut from the set to make our little sentiment label. So you can use die cuts for more than just embellishments. I don't know if I should move my camera up more, put it down lower. You tell me what you guys think. Um, and then just, I also, I was thinking of doing the thanks on the die cut flower but it was a little too big and too much for this particular card but again you can use the die cuts for these shapes to create um sentiment labels so you don't just have to use our sentiment labels and i think my dogs are down here helping me tonight so pardon me my big chocolate lab trooper who has a very large cranium just knocked my ribbons off so i apologize for that so let's jump in and get started with our first card it is a simply stamping card and if you are here give me a hello give me a shout out let me know that you're watching i'd love to see who's here so our card base i'm going to start off with our petunia pop isn't that a lovely shade of purple it's like a purpley pink um, this is 11 by four and a quarter i've scored it at five and a half and I have no rhyme or reason for why I did that. I just, I just did. <laughs> Sometimes you just, you just do. All right. So we're going to put a piece of basic white on the inside and then we're going to stamp. This feels like two pieces almost, but it's not, it's just one. We're going to stamp those lovely flowers in all of our different shades. So we're going to open up our pretty in pink. I'm going to move our base and our inside out of the way for just a moment. Our pretty in pink our peach pie and our petunia pop okay so i'm going to start with our biggest ones first right always put your biggest pieces on first because you can always fill in later with the smaller pieces and i'm going to just stamp these in opposite corners and i'm using this full strength i just love that color All right and then i'm going to come in here and this is actually a little another little flower stamp but I'm actually going to use that to create the center of our big flower. See, so you can use stamps for different purposes. And we've got our next flower. I'm going to use this one in our pretty in pink. I want to leave room for some leaves. Okay, so I'm going to just stamp two of those. I'm going to open up our shy shamrock. I tell you, sometimes the alliteration on these colors it's hard to say them. All right, so I'm going to go and I'm going to add maybe a leaf there. Okay, and let's add a leaf here. Okay, and then I'm going to take our single leaf. We're going to add maybe just a single leaf 
here. Okay, now that we've done that, now we can come back with what I call our filler flowers. Okay, and we're just going to stamp these to fill in our open white space. So again, these can just go anywhere. They're clumped in little groups of three. Okay, and we can just put these wherever we want. Maybe just one more little set in there. Okay, and that is our card front. All right, one last thing that we're going to stamp. I'm just going to close these up for now because I tend to make a mess with my ink pads. I really do. I usually end up sticking my fingers in them. All right. So now we're going to take our happy birthday sentiment, and I'm going to stamp that in our Petunia Pop. And this was just a leftover strip of basic white, well, now that I've done that, that I had from um, trimming down a piece of basic white to use for my card front to my insides. I'm just going to stamp the happy birthday. And then I am just going to trim this on a diagonal. Okay, just to make it a little fancy, a little fancy there. But nothing, nothing too crazy. But see, we can even use our little scraps that we cut off from trimming our cardstock down to make our sentiment label. So let's go ahead and put this one together. And I am just dropping everything tonight. It's, do you ever have one of those days? So we took in a new foster puppy yesterday. She's adorable. She's uh, 12 weeks old. She is a lab great Pyrenees mix. And this little girl's got some big paws on her. So I, I think she's going to be a big dog. Um, but she's very sweet. She's really very, very sweet. So next Sunday, the 14th, we take her to her first adoption event. So hopefully she's got a great personality. She's done great, um, you know, very good in the house, you know, working on house training. She's good with our current dogs. Um, she's just a real sweetheart. So let's hope that Miss Bell finds her forever family soon. She was, um, she was in a rural shelter and they were going to, you know, she, her time was up. So if they didn't find a foster home for her, she, you know, wouldn't be here. So I couldn't let that happen. So we stepped up. All right. So we've added a piece of our basic white to the inside. This is just four by five and a quarter. I've got another piece here that again, that's four by five and a quarter. And this is the one that we stamped on. Okay. So, you know, sometimes you don't need a lot of um, stuff on your cards. You know, sometimes just our stamp inks and paper is really all we need. I am going to add a little bit of that Petunia Pop ribbon. This ribbon is very pretty. It's nice and light. It's a great weight. It's, uh, what is it, about three quarters? How wide is it? Three eighths, of, three eighths of an inch wide. So not quite a half an inch wide. Um, but really, <laughs> excuse me, really pretty. Even though with all this rain, the pollen is just like out of control here. All right, we are going to add a little bit of adhesive to the back of our sentiment label. Oops. And then I am just going to, um, see how I'm folding my ribbon in like a zigzag? I'm just going to kind of fold that and put that right here. Okay. And now we're just going to add some of our dimensionals. This is not sticking because this ribbon is wet because of Trooper. Well, let's cut another piece. We'll let that one dry. Mr. Trooper got to it. So let's cut another piece of ribbon. And I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you how long this is. Let's measure it. This is about seven inches, give or take a quarter of an inch. So... I'm telling you people, I'm dropping everything tonight. Ay, ay, ay. This has just not been my day. My husband had to run out um, for a meeting. He's with the, the top of Virginia Honor Flight. That's the group that takes our veterans to see their memorials. So he had a meeting at 4 o'clock today. And, you know, 4.30 pretty much is feeding time. So I was a single mom tonight. I was single mom in it with all the dogs tonight. It's a little crazy. A little crazy this afternoon for feeding time. 
Um, it's hard enough with two people to get them all fed and rounded up and out. So not fun. Not fun being a single dog mom. Okay. So here we go. Let's throw that. I'm going to put that right in the middle. Oops. Except it's sticking to me. And then we're going to add some of these pretty. These are the faceted gems in the new in colors. I'm sorry. They're shimmer gems. Sometimes they call them faceted. These This time they're calling them shimmer. And we can really use any color on here that we want. Let's go ahead and use the peach pie one because we've added a little bit of peach pie as an accent color. And let's just add some of these peach pie shimmer gems. And we'll just add like three of these and we'll call that card done. So that is the first card with artistically inked. And we really just used nothing more than stamps, inks, and paper for this. So this truly is what they call a SIP card, stamps, ink, and paper. I mean, I guess technically we added a ribbon and some gems, but that's, we didn't add any, embe uh, any embellishments. I mean, I'm sorry, any die cuts. We didn't use any embossing folders, any punches. This is about as basic as you can get. But even as a basic card, it's still pretty because we used very vibrant colors. And it's just, I, I think it works with this set. This was a great set for kind of doing this type of uh, technique. So let me know what you think. You know, is this something that you would recreate or, you know, do something like this? Now, our next card, I, I just, I wanted to use this really fancy die cut. So because we had the fancy die cut and we had the shimmer paper, I didn't think that we needed a whole lot of other stuff on here. Um, I do like to kind of keep my cards on the simpler side, but I did add that little uh, sentiment label down here with our die cut. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do for this one. So for this one, we've got a piece of our pretty in pink. It is eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored this one at four and a quarter. I still got two pieces of basic white at five and a quarter by four. We're going to put one on the inside. One's going to go on the front. A scrap of our um, summer splash to do a die cut. Scrap of basic white to stamp and do a die cut. And then I've got a piece of our glimmer paper here. This is the new in color glimmer paper. This will be available for sale May 1st, May 1st, I think. And then I'm going to back it with a four by four inch strip of our adhesive sheets. Whenever I am using an intricate die cut, such as this one, I like to use adhesive sheets. It makes it much easier to adhere it to the cardstock and it's not as messy as using liquid glue. I don't know about you, but I tend to make a very big mess when I use liquid glue. No matter how careful I try to be, I am just a mess when it comes to liquid glue. Um, some people have great luck with it. I would not be one of those people. So let's do our stamping first, and then we'll do our die cuts. So for this card on the outside, I took kind of like that big blob stamp. I don't know what else you would call it. It looks to me like a big blob. And I took our summer splash, but I'm not going to stamp this full strength. I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to stamp it off on my um, scrap paper. And then I'm just going to stamp it on my card front. And I'm going to do this three times. We're going to ink it up. We're going to stamp it off. Let me know what you think about this. And then we're going to do it one last time. Okay. So if you're watching on the replay, go ahead and let me know where you're watching from. I just like to know where everybody's coming from. And, you know, like, how did you find my channel? I'm always curious to see how people found my channel. And then we're going to stamp um, our little flower. I, I want to say it looks like a rose. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. But whenever I see this, it reminds me of a rose. So I'm going to call this our rose stamp. And I'm going to stamp this on our um, piece of uh, Whisper White. Um, oh, my gosh. Basic White. How old is Whisper White, right? 
And then we're going to stamp. I'm actually going to stamp the leaf image on the um, on the paper because I think it's going to add just a little bit of definition to that die cut. I didn't do it on my sample card. And after I put it together, I was a little sad that I hadn't done it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do it here. We're going to stamp this on there so we can cut it. And then I am going to stamp our thanks, or hello rather, uh, right across our flower. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp that right there. Okay, that's it for our stamping. Now we're ready to do our die cuts. Okay, so let me just put this stuff away for a moment. Okay, let's move this out of our way. And let's bring up our die cutting machine. And of course that just fell on the floor because that's just the way my night is going. Okay, I might have to raise this up just a tad. Okay. And then we're gonna put our Stamp cut and emboss machine here. All right, so let's move the platform this way. I don't know if you can see everything, but let's see if we can get all of this in one cut. Uh, I don't know if we can. Let's, we'll try. All right, so I want to put on our little leaf. Okay and our flower. Actually, I think I'm just gonna have to do this in two passes because I just don't think I can fit that other big one on here. And I'd rather just do it right than do it quick. Okay. And of course I keep hitting the cord because my phone was on low battery, so I had to plug it in. And I keep hitting the cord. All right, so let's see. There we've got our die cut stamped flower with our hello. And we've got our stamped leaf. So there we have it. So those are two pieces that we're going to use on the front of our card. Now let's go ahead and cut out that big fancy piece from our um shimmer paper okay now this will fit on a four by four square so it's perfect so you can really make the most of it now because i did back this with an adhesive sheet i'm going to like pass it through two or three times because not only does it have to cut through the glimmer paper but it also has to cut through the adhesive sheet so I just want to make sure that I cut through and that it all comes through. So there we go. That should be plenty. All right. I think it's very precariously balanced over here. All right, we're going to leave this in. See how easily that came out now? I'm going to leave that in there just for a minute because I want to go ahead and I want to adhere some of our layers down. So we've got our base, our inside piece. And even though the pretty in pink is a light color, I do like to put this white cardstock in there. I just think it gives the card a finished look. Again, that's just my personal taste. Some demonstrators don't like that. Again, your card, you can do whatever you want. Um, that's what I love about card making. There's really no right way to do it. I mean, obviously there's a right way to use the tools. You know, with anything, there's always a right way to use tools. But other than that, when it comes to creating, you can interpret it any way you want. So, you know, have fun with it. All right, so now we're going to take our die cut piece. I'm just gonna kind of, kind of push on one of these flowers and it's gonna come out. Now, don't worry that all of those pieces 
may not have popped out. See, some of them got stuck in our dye and some of them are stuck in our flower. Don't waste time punching them out because when you lift off the adhesive sheet, 95% of them will come out with the adhesive sheet. So watch. They're just going to come right out. See how they're all coming out? And I don't have to waste time poking them out individually. For the ones that didn't come out, if you just kind of bend the stuff or stick your fingers on them, they'll come out. So don't, don't waste time poking them all out, especially if you're making like a, a lot of cards that are using, you know, like intricate die cuts, just rip off that adhesive sheet and you're good to go. Like I said, 95% of those little cut pieces will fall right out and the rest you can just punch out with your fingers. And there we go. So we're good. I just got to get that little piece off. Okay. So now we're just going to go ahead and stick this on our card. Okay. And again, just wherever you want. Okay. And look at how nicely it just sticks there with that adhesive sheet. No mess, no fuss. It just goes right down. It's adhered. And you don't have to worry about trying to use that liquid glue. All of the little pieces came out. We didn't really have to fuss with it too, too much. And we've got that pretty sparkly die cut right on the front of our card. Now we've got our little um, sentiment label that we're going to add. I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive here. We're going to stick that leaf right there. And then we're going to use our dimensionals to kind of pop this right on. So if you enjoy my videos, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. That would just make me so happy. I kind of do a little happy dance every time I get notified that I have new subscribers. Also, if you would like to be notified of when I'm doing um, classes and workshops, be sure that you are on my email list. There will be a link uh, below, right below in the description. Where's my thing? It's right below in the description <laughs> um, at the end when I'm done with this video. So there we have our two cards for tonight featuring, featuring the retired artistically inked. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm so glad that you came and stopped by. I love doing these. So thank you for stopping by, encouraging me, and just enjoying it. Go out, make some cards, and send those cards to the people that you love. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see you next week. Bye.